How's it going everyone? Thanks for stopping by the channel. We are in the research kitchen right now doing a, another uh, review video on a ukulele I just added to my collection. Before we get into this one guys, if you do me a favor, just hit that subscribe button for me and uh, don't forget to hit the like as well. It really does help my channel out a lot and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications for when I drop videos to YouTube. Without any further ado, I had been in the market for a travel slash thin line slash ukulele, either in a concert or a soprano size for some time. Uh, I've been looking at them and they range in price anywhere from about $80 for on the low end to several hundred if you're really looking for something you know super special me i'm just looking for something i wanted to add to my collection something that's got a decent sound maybe something with a solid top would have been nice as well i happened upon these uh these come in a concert size and a soprano i do have both uh, this is the soprano so without any further ado let's take a look at what we're getting with this package now this one is made by a company called ling ting ling ting is very uh i don't know if they're famous or very popular i think with uh kalimbas they make kalimbas and and uh they're very highly regarded in that uh in that niche so i figured i'd give this one a try being that their kalimbas are so decent or seemingly decent this one comes with a small little gig bag one strap in the back there it's throw over the shoulder and a little uh little zipper here you can fit you know accessories in if you need them or music or whatever basically so that's right there and um the bag is what it is it's not a great bag it's not a bad bag it's nice to have some protection rather than nothing at all it has a kind of a web nylon uh, carry handle there as well dual zippers on this one guys so we'll go ahead and get this opened up and we'll show you what comes with this package first thing we're greeted with is our accessories package here now this does come with some stuff some parts of this are more usable than others and i'll show you why in just a second but you can see here we have a um cable and i think i'm gonna make a suggestion here if anybody it, uh, ukulele manufacturers or marketers out there are putting these packages together save the capo save the capo save the picks throw a tuner in there well, and this is a uh, ukulele style capo i'll show you what it looks like here so it's plastic but it more than gets the job done so you're getting that you're getting a spare set of uh, aquila uh, new Nile gut strings, which is nice to see. You're getting your also important guitar picks. A Ling Ting cleaning cloth and a little booklet to get you going on ukulele. Uh, nice and colorful. The only issue is it's all in Chinese. This is something that was made to be sold in China and not made to be exported, but you get that. And that's, you got a bird cage, good stuff. And then the last little useless piece you get is this neck strap that goes on the sound hole. This would be okay for this ukulele because there are no, uh, strap buttons installed but these for the most part are trash my opinion my opinion some of you out there may like those i i don't care for them all right and then the instrument itself guys you can see the headstock here uh ling ting we have a uh, rosewood uh laminate on here uh we have rosewood fingerboard rosewood uh bridge with a uh, oxbone saddle and an oxbone nut on the top uh this has uh some pretty cool little uh decorations on it we'll get into those in a second uh but you can see a really nice uh top on this one now it's not properly book matched or color matched you can see two different colors here it gets a little bit yellower on this side a little bit lighter on that side but this is indeed a solid top you can see the grain running through right there okay uh, laminated sides and back 
We have no body binding or anything on here, so pretty plain Jane. Uh, the neck itself is mahogany. Uh, mahogany or akume, I think it might be some akume on here as well. So you have uh, the mahogany slash akume neck, uh, scarf joined up on top for the headstock. Geared seal tuners, some of the best I have used on a budget instrument these right here and it's the same with my concert version of this instrument it's the same the tuners are really really good um, so the heel you can see different color it's a little bit different shade on there not too too bad the uh, joint to the body is very very good uh, there is no gaps in there everything is done nicely the neck is pin straight and the action is really really good on here okay so we don't have any uh, markers on the fretboard for position uh, but you do have them up on the edge of the fretboard quite frankly if a company is going to put uh, fret markers on an instrument in either one or two places I'd rather see it here than here and not here this is what we're looking at when we're playing this is this is what gives me my position on the fretboard so that's important um again really nicely done this is a screen printed on i believe or maybe it's laser etched i'm not quite sure i do feel a little bit of texture on that but it looks really really good guys this is the model lolita now the same thing with the concert version is the model lolita We'll take a look at the uh, inlay here around the sound hole. Uh, looks pretty nice, guys. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's abalone. I'm not quite sure, but it is very pretty. Uh, purple kind of uh, and gold uh, hues when you turn it into the light. All right, guys, taking a look at the inside of the instrument, you can see bracing, and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail if I can. Uh, you can see the name plate uh, in the, on the inside there. It's installed straight not crooked. Uh, the brand name of the instrument is in Chinese up on top there. The model is Lolita. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that refers to, but there is a caricature of a girl uh, walking in a short skirt, uh, wearing a, clutching a handbag and a stuffed animal. I'm not quite sure what the reference is there. If anybody knows, put it down in the comments for me. Inlay on the 11th and 12th frets right here appears to be a ribbon of some kind or a bow of some kind i think um fret work on here is decent guys a little couple little snags there but nothing sharp and nothing protruding uh, so you're not going to get cut on it this does have a tail block so you can indeed st install a strap button on the bottom there and you can also install one obviously on the on the heel right there so <clears throat> interesting uh instrument and like I mentioned before, I also do have the, I also do have the um, concert size version of this. Um, again, just a really nice instrument. These are both, and you can see here, they're carbon copies of one another. They're just one smaller than the other. So I'll set this one aside here. And uh, we'll take a look at the strings that come on here. Now, when I first looked at this instrument, um, there's a couple of videos on the internet uh, of people, I believe, from uh, Ling Ting demonstrating the instrument. But you can see the red hue to these strings. I believe these are Aquila Reds. Not having played them before, I'm not sure. But they do have a very nice bark about them. Uh, they are very projecting. They have a nice high, higher end shimmer on them as well. And they just look cool. Uh, no reason to change these strings at all. These are really, really nice guys. They sound really good on here. I'm impressed with the projection of this instrument. I am impressed with the musicality of this instrument. It's just a really good little thin line soprano uke. Let's have a listen to it guys and we'll wrap it up from there. Take a quick listen to this and you guys can let me know what you think.
that's it guys a really nice sounding little personal instrument to take with you on the road wherever just sit in your easy chair and strum it's got a really nice look really unique look about it uh that's what i think attracted me to it uh first off but that's it guys if you have any questions about this instrument or anything else that i covered on this video or any other videos make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you all in the next one, and God bless the Republic.